Welcome back to another episode of Battletech. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our beloved Swan Song campaign. It is time to go into the one man's trash uh, flashpoint. We're about uh, 300 days in, still cruising the galaxy casually. Got our heavy mech lance completed. A good uh, lance of mechs and we're now like going for that upper tier. The biggest holdback for us is reputation at this point. So the Draconis Combine likes us sort of, the local pirates like us sort of, the Lyran Commonwealth very much likes us, but we do not really have a lot of missions with them at the moment. And the others are more or less indifferent, which is not good enough. So we got to do more missions for those guys here. And help building up the reputation. Flashpoint is available. We have an unknown employer. Uh, let's jump into it and see who we're working for. Good old Ed Corbu. Ed Corbu wants us to find some lost tech. Well, that's cool. No problem, Ed. Let's take the job and do that brilliant flashpoint. Polar mission, we can salvage uh, quite a bit, but only we only do have two skulls. So potentially we'll just get whatever we can. Yeah, 100,000 and a bit of salvage. Maybe we'll get some interesting uh, small max. Okay, maximum 55 tons. Overall, maximum 200 tons. All right, all right. So that's why you keep kind of that medium... That medium... Compartment around. Hmm... Are we actually going to do that mission with only three mechs then? It appears to be the case. Well, wouldn't have guessed that that would happen. We've got an LRM boat and we're dropping in with three mechs because we don't have a small uh, size or light sized mech. How long would it take us to reinstate one more mech? Storage. Light. Firestarter. Ready. We'll have it warmed up ASAP. Okay, that's one day. Let's give it a try. Job's done, Commander. Oh shit. I just wasted it. A week. Mm, that is annoying. Normally, it, there is a hard stop after something is ready. Oh boy, that is annoying. All right, so how can we mobilize that guy in the fastest possible way? Medium lasers. And a lot of machine guns to deal with the heat. We're looking at ammunition. And we're okay from a firepower six days. Holy. Overall firepower, sort of low-ish. Let's get that extra medium laser in. Heat efficiency drops, but overall I think we're fine. Get that into the center torso. Okay, six days. I could live with that. I suspect that the entire flashpoint requires us to drop 
the full lands. I hate wasting six days. I wrapped up that job you asked for, and we wasted four more days on top of it. Good. So let's try that whole thing again. This time with the fire starter. And that Centurion. Good. We got two Griffins in the middle. We got a fire starter. Mox continues to kind of sit on that uh, Centurion in the back. And his stats are rising ever so slightly. So with his LRM boating, he has done a fantastic job. Hogbite in the Griffin. Redford in a Griffin. And we're going in with the fire starter on Tygen. So a little bit longer preparation uh, than normal. Uh, but at least we can get the flashpoint started. Fantastic, time to drop. Let's get our uh, a little bit lighter team out. I think this is also, we can retire the Hunchback with Firestarter. We got a very similar uh, mech setup. And all we need to do is loot that facility. Charging in. Those mechs are Fast. On my way. I don't want to be caught out in the open here. So let's switch sides. I'm there. Picked up a blip. See, that was just about the right decision. Moving out. Because you don't want to be caught in kind of low ter uh, low ground with rough terrain. Let them come. We got enough blips to evade. Confirmed. All right, moving up. I got you. Fire starter. I've got a sensor lock. Big fat uh, Galleon Urban Assault Vehicle. Okay, we're going to use our LRMs in that case. Not perfect, but a good start. Standing by. Good, moving up with Bradford. We're going to have the upper initiative against that guy anyways. And the weapon platforms are pretty heavy to go through. You can see we've hit it with three of our mechs now. And was almost still standing. Yep, part of it was him being in the forest, but still. Oh, hell yeah. Thanks for the 35 resolve. Copy that, Commander. All right, let them walk a bit closer. Hey, yo. Four medium lasers, I think that's fine. We're going to use Vigilance on top, 60% damage reduction, and let's try to get the Striker down. Yeah, the 60% damage reduction worked very well for us. Waiting for orders. Centurion has a bit of a problem to catch up with all of the other guys. Luckily, the LRMs are quite good, even if the enemy can't uh, can't be directly reached. Let's see if we can get that uh, vehicle. Answers potentially yes. SRM carrier, that guy definitely needs to die. Those are the bane of my existence. Enemy unit destroyed. What are your 
Roger, Skipper. Good. We can move to here even though it'll create some heat. And let's just sensor lock the guy down there. Got a lock. Another striker. Ordered. Can't hit him, so let him come first. Because typically, if you can't hit them, that's a good chance that they can't hit you either. Good to go. Moving to position. Roger that. All right, that was easier than expected. The whole defense here isn't that much on point. Charging in further. That might have. That might just be the first up, mission, boss? really. Acknowledged. I'm rolling. All right. It may be even over. The asset has been secured and is ready for retrieval. <laughs> okay. I could have done that with three makes, to be honest. But like I said, we're very likely uh, going to see a couple of missions, and it's better to have kind of that fourth um, mech warrior, even though if you're just sensor locking or running a very basic mech. Okay, 100k, fine. Let's grab some loot. Oh, well. There's some lost tech here, I like that. I think we're going for the, uh, for the lost tech. Cool. So far, so good. We're, the result of this here is an uncommon mech upgrade. I am looking forward to see what exactly that is. It could be an ECM. It could be a targeting system. It could be a gyro. All of those are quite valuable. Multiple millions of uh, credits. And we're back in the orbit. Let's go. Fantastic. So... Flashpoint decision. Hmm. I think we're going to help him. Straight up fighting mission. And what are we dealing with? Another... Oh, it's a defend the base. Well, not quite a straight up fighting mission, but at least it pays well. We're using the same max and the same crew. Let's just directly deploy. Urban biome. That's a fun one. I personally absolutely love fighting in the urban biomes. So much destructible terrain and a lot of tactical options. Good, here we go. Time to drop. I think that's the final part of this flashpoint. And unfortunately, I also think that we're not really going to be... Oh, I remember that one. Uh, that's a highly, highly difficult mission. It is difficult because we got to uh, protect all of, all of uh, those buildings. And it says that five buildings need to re remain. And I distinctly remember 
that it's almost impossible to completely do that. You got it. So we maybe will be losing uh, that. There had been enemies coming from here and from there. Roger that. Oh, I remember it. And I was so disappointed. I think the timing with this mission here is a bit off having Bandit. maybe maybe three buildings remain would have been a bit more appropriate but as soon as one building dies you're essentially gone what are your orders skipper which means you either that, need to get yourself in in a dangerous position like we're currently doing it in order to attract Here we go. these guys or you're just going to lose the buildings. Do we have additional enemies coming in from here? No, just those two. Oh, and over here. Alright, moving up. By. On my way, double time. Let's reserve and see what the enemy is going to do. The reason why I put myself out there, by the way, is they got a sensor lock on me. I really wanted them to take shots in, on us instead of the buildings. Luckily, they come in with quite a few Ready for orders. Just strikers. Commander. And one inferno carry uh, carrying On enemy. Double time. Good. So we we were running as far as we can, right? Just to get their attention. Because we don't want them to attack the buildings. Which will absolutely happen next turn, if we're not careful. Attacking that Manticore. Acknowledge. Okay, Tiger. You and me. Those vehicles take more damage from melee attacks, which is, Good of course, go. why we're doing those. Moving up, and the Griffin potentially will be able to kill him. Let's just make sure that that really happens. There we go. Manticore deals a lot of damage. I'm not entirely concerned about that Inferno Carrier here. Good to go. On the move. All right, that striker. I think we can kill it with with one go. Not quite. Okay, cool. Moving up with Griffin. One less laser, and the striker still should be down. We've got another vehicle right there. Enemy unit destroyed. Only two of four are gone. And see, that's where the problem starts. That is also a problem. This heat is frying my internal. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. They're heading your way. Tech warriors, show them what you got. Right, that inferno carrier. Move into here. We unfortunately present our backside to those mech warriors over there. Locking off with all weapon systems. Inferno Warm carrier done. Not sure. I think there is another up, uh, pack of enemies that's going to jump us from there. 
Moving up. Let's get that striker down. Straight into its back. Okay, fantastic. So, first wave is gone. We unfortunately did not get a, an extra round uh, accredited for the Griffin here. Affirmative, Commander. Okay, vigilance so that we had 40% damage reduction. Two strikers, one of them with narcs. Yeah, we gotta be careful overall. But even if they manage to let us overheat, Ready to get it on. that's better than uh, seeing the buildings destroyed. Moving up with Mox and... Let's try to hit the guy. Really long ranged missiles here. Not quite Waiting killing him. Yes, Commander. Good. Moving to here. Position and Bradford really needs to cool down. Or quite can wait. Let them come first. Maybe they move into range. Yep, next building takes damage. That's exactly what I meant. And this guy here, for instance, is left completely unchecked. Or quite is charging up. Luckily, that striker decided to choose us over the building. Alright, fire starter. Again, vigilance, because this is going to hurt. Saving some heat. By, uh, by attacking in melee. This guy is still unchecked. Got something you want done? Acknowledge. Let's hopefully kill the guy. Ah, not enough. They are heavily, heavily armored. Good. The Bulldog is a full-fledged tank. Get that guy down will become difficult. Moving here, precision strike just to get more missiles in. And here we go. Not enough. Luckily, this here is an Inferno Carrier. And luckily, the, uh, the Bulldog decided to not go for, uh, for one of the buildings, because he could have actually dealt quite a bit of damage. Moving to here. And let's kill the Inferno Carrier. Destroy. Receiving you. Straight up sight attack. Aye, aye. Locked on for physical attack. And luckily that killed him. Okay, easier than I remember, but maybe I have mixed it up with a couple of uh, five star missions or five school missions where you are in the same situation to defend those buildings, but 
uh, essentially heavier mechs uh, drop around and just like the protect the device mission from XCOM the hit points of the buildings are not scaling so it's always 200 and if you have kind of those five star missions typically what will drop is two lances of heavy mechs or um, lances of combinations between uh, medium and assault mechs and they will be so heavily armed that unless you're in uh, initially killing them, they will go for the buildings and just one-shot them. Good. So far, so good. Definitely took the wrong uh, decision with the flashpoint. It's been a while since I've played all of those flashpoints, as you can tell. Mostly, I have played generic uh, missions to test out different builds in preparation of uh, the career mode here but yeah it um, had been quite a, a long time the flashpoints do not respawn once you go through them they are gone if you miss a flashpoint that will respawn but all of the flashpoints that you complete are permanently gone for the career that you're playing and i think there are like 50 flashpoints overall 50 ish Good. Ed here is uh, grateful and will give us a big fat mech upgrade. Come on. Well, that is just the mech part, dude. Com systems. Okay, well, I, I can respect that. That's a good upgrade. And we got another dragon coming in and yeah, the quick draw. Okay, fair enough. That was an okay reward. The comm system is good. I will not deny that. So quick draw, we have no need for that at the moment and I just don't want to increase our costs anymore. We also wanted to put the hunchback um, back, so that's fine. Repairing that one griffin for one day, that's good. Fire starter could require some small work over or makeover. The one thing that I will say is I'll potentially from equipment perspective would like to go with jump jets. That reduces his damage output a bit. That reduces his damage output a bit, but we should be overall fine. Let's get half ammunition from uh, the MGs. And we're just going to take away a tiny bit of armor here and there. Nothing major. Let's keep the arms. They are important. That is fine. Okay, so no major armor reduction. It's still going to be good. But we got four jump jets, so that rework I can approve. Don't need the flamers. Small lasers would be fine, but... Is this here going to be a thing? Heat efficiency wise, we should still be fine. It's not going to run too hot. And we're the small lasers are dealing slightly more damage than the uh, machine guns. Four machine guns will also not 
eat up the ammunition too fast. That's like what? Um, 20 shots and that means five full rounds with them. Yeah, I, I'm concerned about the heat elsewise. So I think this one here is, is a sweet spot. Just having four machine guns, a few lasers, he would still deal over 100 damage, even if the machine guns are completely empty. And that's all um, right. the fire starter needs to do at this point. So in terms of contracts, I'm pretty sure we still can't work on anything. Okay, good. Which means we're continuing our nomadic lifestyle. That one is an interesting um, flashpoint. Draconis Combine. We are in a decent standing with them. Rare weapons. Two and a half. Sounds like a decent flashpoint. Of how far is this away? 31. I think we're just going to go and bite the bullet now. It's not great. I totally get that. A full month of travel. At the other, uh, on the other side, we're going to get a thumper, and that one, that's a beastie mag. So let's just travel there, set the course, and go. Being generous, and we're now at 50. I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. 5 0 morale. That's perfect. We want to get more medical points. That will allow us. It'll take a bit, but we'll that will it. allow us to heal our mech warriors faster. And of course, the training modules are also uh, going to happen. Most of this here. It's just morale. And as you can see, if you um, played it like, like I did, which is um, just giving that extravagant lifestyle throughout the uh, career, you don't need those upgrades. Redford is out for 18 days, but that's okay. We're still traveling. Let me fast forward the travel. Okay, we're interrupting the travel. As you can see, we've traveled quite a bit, so every single step on the way, I decided to uh, take a look and see are there any missions for the pirates so that we can kind of get that faction further up and maybe also get other factions up. And there is a good news um, uh, this time, just before uh, moving to our flashpoint in Appian. Uh, we got uh, the system circumant, uh, and there are three pirate missions. So we're actually going to do those first. It's going to be potentially a pushover. The second uh, bit of info is we got access to the black market. So travel to system is what we're going to do. Change the course. And in no time... We're already here. So th there was an event uh, that allowed us uh, to access the black markets. And now you can see on the map that there is uh, that there uh, that there are options to purchase from the black market. One of which is an annihilator. One million. So that, that would be 3.3 million for an entire annihilator. Um, you know what? Let's just available. do that. Thank you. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. <laughs> and the cool part about the um, pirates is they typically have the good shit, like the one, uh, the stuff that that you want. Rangefinder plus 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 for extra uh, view distance. We gotta be careful to not spend all of uh, the money. UAC tens, that's fantastic. Uh, minus three tons. 120 damage so that itself uh, is costly but 
really, really, really good weapon for 120 damage for 10 tons. I am thinking about purchasing that. LBX 5 plus. Again, nice, nice damage. Gauss rifle, well, that's kind of a fantastic um, weapon in itself, plus plus, just makes it even better. Extra range medium lasers, plus 10 damage. Those bad boys are good, um, but also quite expensive. We could purchase even further big max. There is some marauder here, and this guy is a... Um, is a uh, Star League Marauder, has double heat sinks. They are incredibly rare, which is also the reason why it is pricey. There's a Cyclops over here with a battle computer. I talked about uh, that one earlier. We could per theoretically purchase uh, the Cyclops, but we're low on money. So that here is a fantastic option. I... So here's the thing. Typically, if, if you're playing with seven mech cards, what you're going to do is, in those extreme campaigns, is you're just going to go for all money, and then you're just saving up until you kind of reach that threshold where you have nine, 10, 12 millions, and you're just buying assault mechs. The, the reason why I originally chose three loot uh, parts is because I find that sort of strategy, albeit mathematically incredibly efficient because you skip all of the tiers and just go for the, um, just go for the salt mix and just um, destroy everything afterwards. I find that incredibly lame uh, because a large part of the game is actually getting those extra mechs and, um, and uh, finding better equipment. So I would want to go for UAC uh, 10 plus. Uh, we're going to purchase it. The weapon is too good to, to just not purchase it. But other than that, I think we're going to be careful not to purchase too much. Do, does the system have anything specific? 100,000 for just a bit of accuracy. I think that's not a good deal. Ballistic um, aiming systems. No, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Good. The real kicker of the system is uh, coming in with the contacts. Because now we do have three contacts here. Uh, breakout, snitches, get stitches, and a stockpile. Or three of which are fine contacts. And we might even want to look into those contacts here. And what I would do is, in the next mission, I'll potentially play through all of the pirates, and then let's see if we're interested to even um, increase the Lyrian uh, faction a bit more. I typically don't like faction runs all too much, but uh, given the circumstances, it's a really eff effective system, and we, we would only be hampering the planetary government like, that's a perfect uh, random roll. Three uh, missions each. Well, that here could theoretically be another mission that we uh, take. But yeah, um, we certainly wouldn't want to do that mission. Okay, let's do the last couple of Order. housekeeping items. And then we're hey, done for today. today. Good to go. So Get those guys that now get a bit of experience every single week uh, from the modules and we got the absolute annihilator here the boss i definitely want to show you the cat uh, cataphract uh, so that guy will continue to stay with us but eventually we're going to make sure that he no longer stays with us and where exactly can't i move that annihilator Um, okay. Anyway, so the Annihilator, just to kind of give you a feel why that is a fantastic mech and why I immediately purchased it. 
is one of the best makes in the game. Even if you fully load it, the guy still has 45, uh, 55 tons of um, open uh, space. So you can go ham as a B uh, BCS, uh, BSC system uh, with an innate plus 20% ballistic damage. So it's, it's the a core version of uh, going completely rampage 100 100 here 120 here so you're building something along the lines of i don't know that And from an equipment perspective, definitely communication system, why not? Ballistic targeting system. And from a weapons perspective, even a slot for support weapons, holy shit. Yeah, from, from weapons perspective, Medium laser, medium laser, medium laser, medium laser. Another medium laser over here. Like, look at the damage. 450. Holy moly. Okay, it's running also pretty hot. Not going to deny that. But I think we had an exchanger somewhere. So if we were just to put in heat sinks as is, just like that, we would soak a lot of heat, but definitely with um, uh, with the fifteen percent less heat overall, that juggernaut can. Uh, be made even more efficient of course it doesn't have ammunition so with ac20s we will need to load quite a bit of ammunition but yeah arguably this could be one of uh, the strongest uh, th that is arguably the strongest mech that we do have in stock i'll build that up uh, once we do have the equipment uh, for it for now we're not going to use it in in the missions we're going to use those guys as they um, as it stands and we're potentially also going to put one of uh, the heavier mechs uh, away i want to see how the cataphract performs and whether or not it has the build in ecm black knight definitely is good the thunderbolts are fine and the orion is fine so that's a really solid core. I could see myself using those four mechs for a bit um, until we get a grasshopper, marauder, like the stro even stronger versions. And then we're building up uh, the uh, assault mechs in here. So that, that'll that give us enough room for everything. We got a light lance, we got um, kind of a heavy lance, and we got the ultra heavy uh, guys here. Good. It's looking fantastic, but an Annihilator pick in itself was already worth the detour because an Annihilator is an absolute force to be reckoned with. Such a strong mech and um, it's definitely one of the top dogs within the game. Specifically, if you get the upgraded um, UAC 20 plus pluses and you load it with ammunition, the guy just continues to uh, fire on and on and on. Okay, cool. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one and see you all in the next episode. And of course, don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you. Bye-bye.